Make the art that you want to make, not the art that you think you should be making. I've been doing podcasting, streaming, all that kind of stuff for six years, apparently, for our actual play stuff. And in the beginning, you know, you start off with your first project and you have a lot of fun with it. I love every project that I did, but I very much started off thinking this is what I'm supposed to be making. And then I started, you know, trying different things, always trying different mediums, different styles, all that kind of stuff, just to see like what it's like. And for the longest time, I just kept pursuing, this is probably a good project that people will watch. This is probably a good thing that people really enjoy, or this is what I should be making. And that's good when you have sort of the mindset of you're trying to create a show, right? But for a creative, it is also draining. You have to do projects that just you want to do. It might not be popular. It might, in the eyes of like success, it might be kind of a bit of a flop. But if you are truly loving it, if you are feeling so fulfilled, if even just one or two people are coming by and checking it out regularly, what a win. What a beautiful moment. I found this. I started really trying to chase after projects that I want to do, that make me feel good. And it's been so fulfilling. I feel fantastic. I used to be stressed about, oh, we have to reach this many downloads or, oh, we need to reach this many eyes. And when I started pursuing Escaping Carcosa, which is a project that I've wanted to do for years, and now I'm really like just going all in, it's taken me like a month to make an episode because I have to do all the artwork and all the editing and everything. But it is so fulfilling. It feels so remarkable. So if you're creative and you're feeling that burnout, you're feeling just that drain on who you are and you're making all this stuff, you're putting out there because you're pursuing all the analytics, you're pursuing that idea of success. Remember, you need to be feeding that creative soul. You need to be making art that you want to make in whatever format, whatever style you think that is. Make it for you. Because when you start really pursuing things that bring you joy and that you are truly enjoying, you will have a much more real connection with the work you're working on and the people enjoying it.